Something has taken over my life. It's my mother. My mother has dementia. And I'm starting to learn firsthand what it's like to deal with someone with dementia. And man, it is hard. G'day, beer lovers. Yeah, Joe Roll, mate, again here. BB Ed. Ah. Ah. This is what I'm finding. Look, I, I better fill you in. Okay, I live in Perth. My mother lives in Perth. My father died back in 2002. My sister lives in Boston in the United States and she never ever wants to come back to Australia because it triggers her PTSD, okay? So it's all left to me to look after my mum. She's 88 years of age and uh, she's been losing her mind for probably a decade and a half. Um, when my father died in 2002, he left behind a very large estate. We're talking about in a few millions, right? Okay. Left it to be mum. And the deal was the wills were drawn like, if I die before you, you get it. If you die before me, I get it. After we die, the kids get the money. Okay. Well, over the last 15 years, the inheritance that was one day headed towards me has gone because my mother got sucked into every con man on the planet. You know, people would come up and borrow money to start a business. You know, like one guy in Albany set up a whole restaurant on my mum's money. He, he extracted probably about half a million from her. And then he sold the bloody business and didn't even tell her and he was still feeding money off her to keep the bloody restaurant open. Yeah. If you ever, know, ever come across a bloke called Michael Abrahams, he operates in Tasmania and Victoria, stay away from him. Okay, he's always gonna be in the hospitality industry, running pubs, running restaurants. He's a fucking cunt, okay? But that's not the only one. All these other people have borrowed all this money from my mum on unsecured loans. Nothing's drawn up. When I've tried to stop it all over the last decade and a half, she, she, she just says, what do you think I am, fucking stupid? I know what I'm doing. Yeah, well anyway, it's all gone. That's one of the reasons why my sister doesn't want having to do with my mum anymore. You know, the money's gone. So, my mum's losing the plot. Repeats herself. Oh, every three minutes, the same old thing she said three minutes ago and then three minutes prior to that. And I just can't handle it. And, and, and it's not like I can just sit there and just sort of say, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, that's nice. I've got to just tell her, look, you just told me that three minutes ago. You just told me that. You just told me that 20 times in the last hour you know i just can't hold back i'm just i'm losing it too and my mum is so stubborn she won't accept any help okay no carers she doesn't want even me helping her she just wants to be left alone in her beautiful unit in south perth you know you've seen a few videos i've shot from, from there recently you know fantastic views and that's my biggest hurdle i'm trying to get her into a nursing home that's where she belongs she can't even walk anymore you know she can walk but she's staggered she's dizzy she shouldn't even be living there. And, you know, I, the government have assessed her as high care and I'm currently waiting for a government home help package. But, mate, I've been waiting for about a year. Yeah. And even then, if I got all this money, apparently you get about $60,000 in benefits you just spend on your, 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 your relatives with dementia. But my mum wouldn't even accept help. So I, even if I got that resources, I wouldn't be able to spend it on anything. You know, she won't accept help. I've got one carer going there one hour a day. But, you know, she's struggling. You know, my mum doesn't even change her clothes, you know. Like, we had to drag them off her last night. That's how, that's how bad it's getting. Oh, fuck, I hope I don't get dementia. I've looked at putting her in a nursing home, but the way it works, you've got to give them, like, $450,000, yeah, and then $70 a day on top as care, okay. You get the 400, the estate gets the 450 grand at the back at the end. Uh, but you don't get any interest, you know, that the nursing home has used for that money over the years. And if you stop paying the $70 a day care, they take it out of that bond, you see. So it's very expensive. And also, it takes two years sometimes to get someone into a nursing home. They're not that easy to get into. You know, I took my mum to one about four or five months ago. She hates it, you know. Basically, you get locked up there with all these other dementia people in the dementia wing, you know. And they reckon most of them have to be tranquilised to keep them calm because they're all emotional. A lot of them die within two years just through sheer depression, you know, because they just don't want to be there. Yeah. 
But if I put her in there, I'm doing, I'll am doing. i probably do it at the end when she doesn't even know me anymore. She still knows who I, who I am and other people that see her regularly. But but uh, the day's going to come she doesn't know me anymore and that's the day I'm gonna, I am think I'm going to move her into a nursing home whether she likes it or not. Yeah, and also, she's, she, there's no way she's going to go into a nursing home because look at the views that she's got from her balcony, you know, on the South Perth foreshore, you know. That versus basically a, a hospital ward for the rest of your life. What do you reckon I should do? Basically, just let her slowly go out of her mind there. Let her starve herself because she doesn't want to eat anymore. She won't let me buy food. It's always a struggle to get food in there. She hardly drinks anymore. So should I just let her let nature take its course? Or do you think, you know, I have to move her into a nursing home? What would you do in my situation?